Hey guys, welcome back to an all new Absol Conflicts. In this unboxing haul, we'll be looking at the all new Anchor series of GAN Prime. Essentially their latest lineup of smart chargers. Now we have a variety of different ones here based on a different occasion. So we have essentially a wall outlet, a power bank, and a variety of different chargers. And together we'll be looking at each one individually as well as unboxing them and seeing exactly what they're all about. Now the unique thing about these particular products is one, Anchor is actually a great company that makes a variety of different products which we reviewed previously but these here are more compact in size compared to the traditional wall outlet chargers mainly because of the fact that they use their own technology to go ahead and essentially create a stacked version of it so it essentially creates a more compact size now they include a lot of other things including power iq 4.0 which is essentially is a smart charger port so it can go ahead and pick up on what is the specific output that your laptop or phone needs and charge it based off of that that. Now this is features more about heat resistance than anything so when you do touch sense a hundred watt charger like one of these here uh, you would imagine it being very very hot but it actually does have its own controlling mechanism to essentially sense and create a nice and cool environment. So together we'll be unboxing them as well as trying them out in which if you guys want to learn more about them check out the links down below in the description and without further ado let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so check it out. So this is everything that they sent us. So we have the Anchor 727, Anchor 733, 737. Uh, then we have a Series 735, as well as the Anchor 615 Power Strip. So let's go ahead and just dive right into this. All right, so this here is gonna be our Anchor 727. Kind of showcases the product here on the front. So it is a USB charging for Apple and Samsung devices featuring Power IQ 3.0, as we already mentioned what that is. Uh, it's got two USB-C ports, as well as two USB-A ports and two AC ports. So this is more for somebody who's traveling about, like if you're at a hotel and you don't have enough outlets, you can go ahead and use this essentially as a charging station for all your devices. <laughs> oh, cool. So one thing that I'm a big fan about Anchor is the fact that their design is very unique and very sleek. You have rubber grippers on the bottom so it doesn't really slide about and it actually does grip it very nicely. And then of course you do get your two AC ports right there. So you have two USB Bs as well as two USB Cs, a uh, total of four ports. And then as we kind of open it up a little bit further in here, we'll see ourselves having a very nice long cable. Ho ho ho! So it's about five feet, which is really, really cool. Uh, it has its own very unique uh, output there. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to go ahead and lose that, but this will go ahead and slide right in just like this. And then uh, this will plug into the wall. So as we boot it up, you do see essentially a halo going around the Anchor logo. Almost looks like a solar eclipse. So you have your light button, which is here on the side. You press that button. It'll go ahead and essentially change the Anchor logo to on and off. All right, so for this test here, we're going to be charging our Wow Cube, which is essentially a smart Rubik's Cube. Uh, it's currently dead right now, but I do have a, essentially a smart USB C cable here that will give us an exact readout of what it's charging at. So go ahead and plug that in there. And then I'll put this in here and see what the output is. Six watts, five watts, seven watts, seven watts. So now we're stabilizing at nine watts now. So it will continuously fluctuate based on what the current need is of the particular device. But it is booting up, which is great to see. And exactly what it's intended to do. And then in terms of the AC outlet, so check this out. So right now it's actually surprisingly very thin. And traditionally speaking, a plug like this wouldn't go or fit essentially in there because it's actually longer than the device itself. So what they did is they created a unique way so when you do push it in, it actually comes out. How cool is that? So part of it is actually sticking up there uh, to create room. So this is nicer in terms of the compact size goes and then simply turn it on and voila, we have power. So it's doing exactly what it's intended to do, which is actually really nice. Uh, and I love the fact that it does kind of come out. Now, when you go ahead and unplug it, it'll fall right back into place. So overall, really cool. And I love the fact that it's nice and compact. So let's go ahead and check out the next product. All right, so up next, we're looking at the Anchor 733. This here is the power bank. So essentially it's a 65 watt power bank that you can use on the fly, designed for both charging, say your phone, or as well as your laptop whenever you need to. All right. <laughs> Got a little bit of weight to it, but again, it being a power station, it does make sense. Now, as we kind of go inside here, we do have a few different things in here. So we do have our user manual, and then it does come with a nice looking pouch, uh, which actually houses a charging cable inside. Looking at it, it uh, looks like we have a few different things going on here. So we have our power 
AC adapter. It's going to be over here on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that out or put that back in based on if you're using it or not. Uh, you do have a power button here. So go ahead and press that button. It should about boot it up right there. So you can see the lights in there. It actually goes around essentially like a ring. Um, and then you have your two USB-Cs as well as your USB-B. Uh, and that is about it in terms of a nutshell in terms of what's included. We'll charge uh, essentially this little speaker here and see if this works with this. Plugging this into uh, my CN in and out and then we have a CN out. So this one will just do a CN out since we're just doing an output uh, and I'm plugging into here. So you have five watts now is what it says. So it is setting a charge out to this product here. There we go. That works. So it was able to charge that. So that's great to see that it's able to do so. And the fact that it's compact and it shows an exact wattage. In this case here, it's just it's five watts. And that's gonna be our live readout. Now you also have your power bank. So you can go ahead and essentially use this out and about, or you can go ahead and charge it by plugging into this wall here. Uh, and yeah, I mean, overall it's actually pretty cool. And the fact that it's nice and compact in size, you can take this wherever you want, say like at a cafe, or if you need to charge your laptop or something like that, definitely a nice compact size, which you can essentially keep with you in your bag. So up next, we're looking at our Anchor 615 USB power strip. Now this features a 65 watt output, uh, as well as your Power IQ 3.0, two USB-Cs, one USB-A, two ACs, as well as a three foot cable. So a very interesting design. Uh, you have your AC port here and you have another AC port here. You have a USB-B and two USB-Cs and then a cable, which, ah, oh, it's actually underneath it. That's cool. So you just go ahead and pop this open like this and then this will unravel. And that is how you get your three foot cable. Uh, let's go ahead and plug this in here. And voila, we have power. So convenient and easy to use and impractical. So you do get a variety of different ports and again, more perfect for someone who's traveling about. I think this is a great way to go ahead and use it, especially for the fact that it does come with its own extension cord built into it that you can technically wrap around it. It's actually a really cool plus. All right, so up next, we'll be looking at the Anchor 737 charger. So this features Power IQ 4.0, two USB-Cs, as well as one USB-A, and it features a 120 watt charger. Now that is the most I've ever seen yet in a wall charger. So it should be quite interesting to see how it plays out. Let's open it up. All right, so check it out. So it's actually a fairly long charger, but again, featuring 120 watts, you would imagine it being something this big. Now over here, you do have your USB-B uh, as well as your two USB-Cs. Uh, and then you get this nifty looking securing system. So if you happen to put it on the wall, typically speaking, it would kind of tip over like that. However, this particular port here will essentially create a little bit of a barrier. So it kind of help keep it resisted uh, in terms of holding it on the wall. But uh, yes, so overall a really cool looking design concept, very simplistic, and it does fold up so you can technically take it out and about without any problems. Now it's designed to go ahead and charge high powered devices such as laptops or even, I don't know, like a smart telescope. <laughs> and uh, over here, we actually have one. So this here is a Stolina. Essentially, it is a smart telescope that works off of a USB-C, which is actually quite interesting. So I went ahead and just plugged it in here to see what happens. So right now you can see that there is no power. It is completely off uh, and it should be able to charge it. Hopefully, we'll find out very shortly. So let's go ahead and plug this into the wall. Ah, we have power. <laughs> so yes, it is able to go ahead and power up a smart telescope. How insane is that? And uh, yes, so it does exactly what it's intended to do. Not only that, you also technically have an additional USB-C port and then of course a USB-B port so you can technically use it to charge a variety of different products at once. So let's go ahead and take a look at what else we got. All right, so up next we're looking at the Anchor 735, which is a 65 watt charger versus the 737, which is 120 watts. But again, should be a little bit more compact in size. Let's open it up. All right, so check it out. So quite identical to the 737 in terms of the design. However, it is actually significantly smaller, uh, but again, featuring only 65 watts, which is still a good amount. But yes, kind of gives you an idea how that works. Now it also does come with its own little platform. So you can go ahead and put this against the wall and not having to worry about tipping over. But yes, should play essentially the same role as the other charger. Let's go ahead and try it out. For this, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can turn on our vector using this vector charger that's directly plugged into that. And let's see what happens. 
and there we are. So we already have power going through it and it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So overall it works exactly the way it's intended. And yeah, I mean, it's great in terms of charging a variety of different products. Obviously it's not as strong as the 120, but again, 65 watts is actually a good amount of watts. All right, well, there you guys have it. So this kind of gives you a little bit of taste of the GAN Prime series by Anchor. And I have to say they did a phenomenal job with it. Now there's a literally everything for everyone. So if you want to get like a charging station or a power strip or even a power block, there's a lot of different things that you can choose from and I have to say they do a great job in making it versatile. Now with that said if you guys have any questions about them feel free to comment down below otherwise see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye bye.